From Detroit to the nations, you are listening to the world's number one Christian station, Worship Center Radio, the platform of champions. It's one o'clock. For healing for the nations with New Beginnings Nutrition Health Talk and Wall of Fire Healing Ministries. We're live right now at Worship Center Radio in the heart of Detroit, Michigan, bringing the power of God and the power of nature to release healing to the nations, spirit, soul, and body. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord has anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. He has set me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of the prison to them that are bound. To proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God. Now let us go into our broadcast. Hi, this is Jill Janik for New Beginnings Nutrition. Wall of Fire Healing Ministries. We're live yet here at First Assembly of God at Telegraph Cruise. Listen up the name of Jesus, him, him crucified. We're believing for a harvest of souls here on the street. We've got some Jesus Christ intercessors, ambassadors of hope. They're going to go down the highways and byways and compel them to come in. It's a great day to go fishing in Dearborn Heights. And we believe that the fish are going to jump in the boat. we got crosswalkers. we got flags. we got banners. we got shofars. we got people on fire for Jesus. We believe that Jesus' return is soon. And we want to get people into the safety arc of his presence and the cleft of the rock. And so we're excited. We're going to operate in the gifts of the Holy Ghost, activation and impartation. We're excited lot here we have a group of on fire jesus christ ambassadors of hope we've seen miracles and healings on the street we've seen over 20 or 25 people get saved in the last couple crosswalks we've seen miracles and deliverances emotional healing we've seen the heavens of god open over the city and we've been proclaiming jesus christ we've been praying and contending for revival and awakening in our church we've been praying we've been fasting we're a breed of breakthrough believers we're on fire for jesus we're radical and we believe in the whole gospel, the full gospel. We cast out devils, heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, preach the acceptable year of the Lord. And we're excited, so we want to just break down and die and rebuke that spirit of religion that keeps people in the church. And we're saying it's time to get out of the church. It's time to go to the highways and byways. It's time to go to the brokenhearted and set the captives free. It's time to go to the poor and the homeless. It's time to go to those that are depressed, those that are bound, those that the enemy is tearing down and wanting to go to hell. We're going to deliver them up in the fear of the Lord today and the compassion of Christ. We're compelled to go. And we are commanded to go and commissioned to go. But we are excited because we just love Jesus. You don't have to force these groups of Dearborn First Assembly, the Firsters. We are going to go. You don't have to twist our arm. You don't have to force us. We not only want to obey, but we're going with the love of the Lord, the fire of God's love, because we know what God has done for us. And all we can do is go deliver to others, God. Freely receive, freely give. And so we're clothed on on high with the power of God. We thank you. We're going to demonstrate the kingdom of God. He has given us the keys of the city, and we're opening up the gates. And we said the gates of hell will not prevail against this church. And whether we bind on earth or be bound in heaven, whether we 
loose on earth to be loosed in heaven. We believe we believe the whole gospel. Nothing is impossible with our God. And he says he'll accompany us with signs and wonders and miracles. He's going to work with us. We can't do nothing apart from Jesus. Nothing good, good dwells in this flesh. That the Holy Ghost, that same spirit that raised Christ from the dead, lives in us. And he's going to quicken our mortal bodies today. Some of us are tired. We've been praying. How many know praying tired work and labor? But now you got to pray and you got to act because love takes action. And love is married to power. We married to Jesus, and we're going to release that power. So we're asking God today to give us more love for the harvest. Give us more compassion for the harvest so that we can really operate in the love of God and the power of God. And he went to the cross of Calvary for us, and his love was displayed. He had nails in his hands and, and, and nails in his feet and a crown of thorn in his head. And he said, it is finished. It is done. Now we got to align ourselves and prepare ourselves to align with his heart and embrace his heart and his love for the lost. We're, we're excited because we're in love with Jesus. We're married to Jesus. And he has been too good for me to not go out and proclaim his name. I am not ashamed of the gospel. It is the power, power of God unto salvation to all that believe. First to the Jew, then unto the Greek. In it, the righteousness of God is being revealed. And the just shall live by faith. How many, how many faith-filled, Holy Ghost, tongue-talking, casting out devil-walking people I got here? Let's hear it. We, gotta, we want to be the right new believers for you out there. That uh, It's going to take a movement. It's going to take a team to take a city. But Philip, how many know about Philip? He just went out and casted out devils, healed the sick, and that whole city erupted with joy. Hallelujah. We believe in miracles that are going to bring salvation, and we believe salvation is going to bring some miracles. Amen? And so we're excited about the power of God, and I believe that I just want to declare the scripture. And if someone can get my show forward, we're going to blow it all over the nation, the city of Detroit. We have people all over the nation. I want to welcome you, Canada. I want to welcome you, Africa. I want to welcome you, the city in uh, Michigan and all the states of the nations, Texas and Florida and the East Coast. We want to welcome you to Wildfire Healing Ministries and New Beginnings Nutrition. This program is called Healing for the Nations. And we believe the word is going to be set to you and heal you and deliver you today on this broadcast. I just let the Holy Ghost lead. We don't know what's going to happen here. But one thing we do know, that Jesus Christ and him crucified. And that we want to declare life over you, that if you're sick in your body, you can be healed today. If you need deliverance from demons, you can be delivered today. Hallelujah. And then you can be launched into your destiny to find your assignment, your sphere of influence to go out and heal the brokenhearted and set the captives free. And I want to declare the Spirit of the Lord God is upon me. And the Spirit of the Lord God is upon you. I want you all to come on closer to this phone. We're hitting live on a patch line from Dearborn Heights right under the tent. How many know the tent of meeting God is going to show up? We got to worship tonight that the glory and the cloud of glory are going to just come through the city and overshadow the city to protect it and to awaken it and to revive it. Amen. And God's going to breathe from this place. Amen. And bring life to those dead bones. Hallelujah. I'm excited. I'm going to follow God. I'm excited. So I want you all and join me all over the broadcast and all over the nation because Dear Detroit is a healing and deliverance town. Yes. It's going to be a model for the city, a refuge place where people can come, get set free, delivered, and launched and into their destiny. And we're excited about what God is doing in the city of Detroit, that we're a part of the greatest movement of God. And it was once called Motown, but now it's going to be called God Town. And it's going to be called Go Town. Because we all going to be going for God. But let's all say it together. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me. Because he has anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted. To proclaim liberty to the captives. And the opening of the prison to them that are bound. To proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord. And the day of vengeance of our God. To comfort all that mourn. To point unto them that mourn in Zion. To give unto them beauty for ashes. The oil of joy for mourning. The garments of praise for the spirit of heaven. For the spirit of 
heaviness. That they might be called trees of righteousness. That they might be called trees of righteousness. The planting of the Lord. The planting of the Lord. That he might be glorified. That he might be glorified. And they shall build up the old waste places. And they shall build up the old waste places. They shall raise up former desolation. They shall raise up former desolation. And they shall repair the waste cities. And they shall repair the waste cities. And the desolations of many generations. And the desolations of many generations. If you believe it, declare and decree it. Let's give them praise right now. Hallelujah. I'm going to blow the shofar. The shofar represents the breath of God. It represents a call to repentance. A call that return to Christ is soon and to glorify our God and our Lord and Savior. So I want to see, uh, we're going to be awakened. Hallelujah. I believe there's going to be breakthrough in your health, breakthrough in your body, breakthrough right now in your life. Receive it by the word of the Lord today that the anointing and the spirit of the Lord is here to heal your broken heart, to set you free, and to drive out the devil and come out of that prison. The slaves are going to go free this year, and why not let it be you? Don't take that old waste place, that old slave place. The old cycles, it's time for you to come out and be catapulted into the promised land of what you were born to do. It's time for your death to be fulfilled in the name of Jesus. We're going to blow this show fire all over the nation, and I pray, God, the breath of God blow through me, Lord, in the name of Jesus. <laughs> from the dead, not only to give us to heaven, but to bring heaven to earth. Glory to God. Amen. And we're going to bring yeah. heaven to earth. We believe there's no sickness in heaven. There's no devils in heaven. And guess what? People are happy in heaven. Glory to God. And so we're going to believe that God's joy is coming out of us today. His heaven is opening up. The joy. Hallelujah. All the joy today. Are you excited about bringing his joy? Yeah. And so Lord, we just praise you, Lord, on this broadcast. Let's just pray. Lord, we thank you for what you're doing in us and through us. We thank you for hearts that are being prepared on the streets today. That the river of God is flowing to take them up in the river of your love, the river of your healing, the river of your deliverance, God. Anoint our hands with fresh oil, Lord, today. Anoint our spirits, God. We repent of our sins. Repent these vessels as holy and pure. We repent of pride and the works of the flesh. We can't do nothing apart from you. We give our bodies away as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto our God, which is our reasonable service. We give ourselves to weigh in the fire of your love today, God, and remove anything, only the mind of Christ, only the heart of Christ, only the hands of Christ. Totally consume us, Lord God. Fill us up, God. Activate every gift of the Holy Ghost right now. Activate every gift of the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost, every gift, all those nine gifts of the Holy Ghost. Let the river flow, Lord, today. Let the river flow. Word of wisdom, word of knowledge, faith, healing, and miracles. Lord, in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Lord God, you commander of the armies of Israel. We are the army of the Lord. Thank you, Lord God. We ask for all the gifts to flow. Let the words be like oil and honey coming out of our lips, God. Let us not be condemning, but restoring, God. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son. Whoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. God, you didn't come to condemn, you come to save, Lord God. So we thank you, Lord God, for the divine opportunities, the divine appointments. People with hearts are ready to receive this great gift, this great love, this great salvation, and let it be in a fire in our bones. Let it be a fire, Lord, that other people in churches will see the example that you are setting through us, God, to come out of their church and the movement around the city, Lord. Let it be an example. Lord, let business people come out. Let... Um, People come out of their sin today, Lord, just because they see the cross. Yeah. Let them look to the cross and be healed today. Let them look to the cross and give their lives back to you today, God. Lord, we might not even have to speak a word, but your cross is anointed. Lord, we anoint these crosses, Lord, in the name of Jesus. We anoint these crosses, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Bring your cross, brother. 
Brother Mike, Minister Mike's here. God has, God has done a work in him. I want to give glory unto the Lord and honor this man of God. Give, give him some honor. His honor is due. This, Lord, this minister Mike's been on the streets for 20 years. He's been riding his bike. He doesn't even have a car. And he's riding his bike, and he's going to churches, ministers, saying one message. Jesus Christ and him crucified. If we're going to see revival, we ought to have unity in the body of Christ. This man's an African-American man. I'm a white male, and God's going to break the divided wall between black and white. Because we're going to see Dearborn and Detroit coming together as one well as a mighty revival in this city. And he's going to sign in the wonder, and I honor this man of God. I'm going to anoint his cross. He got this story for God's glory. I said, Lord God. Lord told me, Jill, it's time to carry the cross. I said, Lord, you know, I've been doing that for 20 years, and I'm not ashamed of the gospel. But he said, no, now you're going to carry the cross. And I said, Lord, I never even, I thought of it. I saw author bless and others, but it wasn't something I just wanted to do to do it. But it wasn't even in my, in my sphere. And the Lord said, get ready, carry the cross. I said, Lord, when do you want to release this cross? He said, you will know. And so I asked my husband to get ready to make a cross, and the Lord the Lord dealt with his heart because my husband's like, you're going, it's crazy. What are you doing now? And he said, but the Lord got his heart. And he said, what kind of cross do you want me to make? What kind of wood? And he gave me red wood. And I believe it's an example of something to do with the blood. But brother called me three months later and said, guess what, Sister Jill? I'm in Indiana. And God told me that this man's going to make me a cross. And I'm going to walk this street. And, and I'm so excited. So let, I'm going to anoint this cross right now, Lord, that people will see it, Lord, and they'll shine. The shine, Lord, it'll blind the light, to bring them to the light, the light at the end of the tunnel. They will see this cross, Lord, and they will repent of their sin. They will rededicate it to you. They will see the return of Christ. It's just uh, uh, soon, Lord. And they will come into the boat, Lord, today, God, as he lifts us up. We anoint this cross. Thank God for my husband. He was preaching on the corner last year what God had done, miraculously saved us from the enemy as a gas line hit our home three days before the crosswalk. And we could have almost died, but there was angels in my house that protected us and prepared us so this crosswalk would go through. We've seen 12 people saved that crosswalk. We've seen people baptizing the Holy Ghost, people delivered. And we thought we were all done, and we got to the restaurant. And guess what? More people got saved in the restaurant, and more people got delivered. And so God doesn't stop just because you stop. He was still moving. And so I'm excited. So, Lord, we just anoint these crosses, Lord, as they go forth as a mere image of your glory, God. Let it be double trouble for the devil, God. In the name of Jesus, God, we release this now. Lord, hallelujah. How many know I'm not ashamed of speaking in tongues? Oh, God, the fire of God. Hallelujah. How many know if you want the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost will work for you. Amen. You gotta work the Holy Ghost. So every and da 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 shanda, every and da da da. How many know you need the fire of the Holy Ghost? You gotta have the fire of the Holy Ghost to deliver and set free people. So Lord's increasing our fire here in First Assembly under the tent of meeting. It's the fire of His presence. Hallelujah! And He's increasing it here, Lord. We just thank you for our baptism. Receive it. Raise up your hands right now. We're in, we're in ministry mode too. So, Lord, we get ourselves prepared, Lord God, that we're fire walkers, Lord. We're bringing the oil, the wine, and the fire, God, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Let the wind blow, the Holy Ghost Pentecost over us, God. Let the pillars of fire rest upon us, O oh Lord. Let us come together in unity as a team, Father God, one heart and one mind, to move with you, Holy Ghost. We're believing for salvation of souls. We're believing for deliverances. We're believing, Lord God, for those rededications. We're believing for people to come to find their house, a home in the house of God, so your house can be full, God. This is about your love, Lord. You're crying out, Lord. You're groaning. You're travailing, Lord. You're interceding for these very people today. God, that we're being set to today. There's nothing that happens by accident, God. So we want your heart. Let us have eyes to see. And even see here as we walk through the city streets, praying on sight with insight, not just in the church, but in the street, God, where you're walking, God, and you're talking, and you're healing, and you're delivering, God. I say, here I am. Send me, God. The purge the stole, purge the call upon my lips, God. So that only your words are spoken. Remove all anger. Remove all bitterness, God. Remove all division or compromise of God. God or mixture it up. It's going to get us away, God. Burn it out in us right now, God. Burn it out, God. We see things we've never seen today. We hear things we've never heard today. We're going to believe like we've never believed before, God. Because if I believe the report of the Lord, how many believe in the report of the Lord? How many believe in the report of the Lord? That he was wounded for our transgression. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. 
And by his stripes, we were healed. And this is the word of the Lord today, saints, all over the nation. He not only gave you life to get you to heaven in his eternal presence, the greatest gift of all time, to live in the glory of his presence for billions and billions of years, but to be healed and whole so you can walk and the mandate and the mission he has called you to, to bring deliverance, to bring healing. That you're not just a survivor, but you're thriving. You're not just being overcome by the enemy, but you're overcoming the enemy. Because we overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. So I'm commanding you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ to rise up and walk. To be now healed in the name of Jesus. Your faith has healed you. Go our way and be made whole. Hallelujah. Jesus had an hour of visitation, and God is visiting his church to rise up and walk. It might be 38 years you've been sitting by that pool, but guess what? Not only the angels come to stir the waters, but Jesus comes and says, it's now. Don't miss the moment right now. You're in your home right now. You can be driving your car and get on your knees and say, I receive it and I believe it. And watch you be whole tonight. Watch you be whole right now, whatever time zone you're in. This is heavenly throne zone. Hallelujah. And he's invading your time zone. So stop and receive the word of the Lord. Give your ears to hear and eyes to see. So I'm excited. Oh, my God. I feel like revival just already broken out in this place. But you know what? Um, I'm excited because we have a Jesus Christ intercessors and ambassadors of hope. And this is a team. It's not about one person. Right. We give fame and glory unto his name and him alone. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And we're going to bring fame to him. We're going to get behind him in his shadow. Yes. And he's going to teach us how to heal today. He's going to teach us how to deliver today. Hallelujah. And we got those that, you know what, we're just stepping out in faith. Even the little kids can lead people to the Lord. Amen. Yes. Because we're gonna, we've got um, simple evangelistic training that we are going to go with the Holy Ghost, but we're going to read the gospel. Yeah. And we're going to just speak out what and sow the seeds. And it's not up to us for results. Yes. It's up to God. We're just being obedient. Yes. And so, Lord, we thank you that no fear here. Say no fear here. No, no fear here. here. We got boldness and the Holy Ghost. And guess what? If you do it afraid, it's okay. Because the more you do it, you won't be afraid. Because the boldness comes as you resist fear. And then faith comes. And then you're going to do it natural, supernaturally. And you won't even think about it. And you're already doing it. Hallelujah. So hallelujah, that's where I've been 20 years now. I don't even think about it. And after I got done, I'm like, what just happened here? <laughs> but Lord, I love you, and I'm thanking God. I want to say if you want to be equipped in your church, if you want to get an army of movement, we can come to your church, and we can prepare you to go out in the highways and byways with the material, with the fire of God, with the activation and commissioning to bring healing and deliverance, and to see your people healed and delivered. we got a team of healers and deliverers. We got a team of evangelists and witnesses that are not afraid. And so we want to encourage you. I want to give you my phone number, uh, 734-556-2184, to call me so we can connect you to these fire, fire breeders and we can help you get yourself ready for the greatest harvest that's coming in. Maybe you don't know how to do it. You maybe didn't know um, who to connect with, but I believe this is a divine connection for you. And if you have poor health, in your body. You need to be healed of diabetes and blood pressure. You know, I believe in the power of God to hit you today, but also I believe in the natural power of God, the natural laws as well. And so we got to take care of this house. You don't, we take care of our houses and our cars more than we take care of our own bodies. So the Lord is bringing us into an alignment to take care of this house. It might, the roof might be leaking, the windows might be cracked, and the foundation. But God wants to restore those faulty foundations supernaturally and naturally. We live in a natural world and we must eat right, take care of ourselves. And we break, come on now, I feel the Holy Ghost right now. I want to break the spirit of addiction right now. So we break and bind the spirit of addiction right now over your bride. Your bride is not going to be connected to Thalatia. She's not going to be connected to sorcery or the spirit of witchcraft anymore. We bind and rebuke and whoever's listening right now. We break the spirit of addiction or the alcohol right now. Heroin right now and cocaine. We break the power of God. The power of God, the anointing that breaks the yoke. This is your day. You receive it. It's cracked. It's breaking. This is a crack of the lightning of God. He's, he's coming in, cracking it off you. In the name of Jesus, you are a healer and a deliverer. I'll speak destiny in you. You're going to bring deliverance to the captives of our addiction. Rise up out of those ashes. Heal that father pressure. Heal the wounds of rejection. You are loved by the Almighty God. He is your father and your deliverer. No one can love you like Jesus. No one can... To satisfy your thirst like Jesus. He is the God that you want to be addicted to because you were addicted to a lot of things, but you were made to be addicted to Jesus. And so, Lord, I thank you for the addiction spirit of you 
I'm being addicted to love, being addicted to the wine of God, to the uh, spirit of God being filled up, that you are going to do deliverance and healing. You're going to walk natural, supernatural. I release that over these people right now, over this nation, right now, God. In the name of Jesus. Oh, let's give God praise. Give him praise. Give him praise. And right now, I feel the Lord's wanting to do some ministry, but baptizing the Holy Ghost with hands on your belly all over the nation, Canada, Michigan. You can't do nothing without the Holy Ghost. Maybe you've been born again and you've been sealed, but you need more. You're Baptist. I'm speaking to you Baptist right now. I was Baptist. I didn't even believe in the Holy Ghost. I thought it was from the devil. That's all I knew. But I knew something was going on in me because I said, i got to win more souls, Jesus. How do I do it? And my mind was going against my spirit. And I had to surrender my mind and my theological, hermeneutical, and all the traditions of men to find Jesus and to find the Holy Ghost. And I remember one day in my living room crying out to God for the Holy Ghost. And I just walked, turned on the TV and Rob Parsley said, You want the Holy Ghost? You're a Baptist out there. You want the Holy Ghost? And I said, Whoa! And the Holy Ghost came. And I went to the floor and I'm snot coming out of my nose. And I felt the Holy Ghost breaking off religion off me. And all of a sudden my eyes were open and I was in love more with Jesus than I ever was in love. And I knew that I could be in love more with his people. And I had some weapons of mass destruction. I had some weapons of deliverance now because I needed to win more souls and see more people more people delivered. So I thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. So right now, if any of you here don't have the Holy Ghost, lay your hands if you want more of God. So Lord, we're out there right now. I'm telling you, all over the world, in Canada, Michigan, and Detroit, Dearborn, and Lord, all over, I'd say Africa, and Texas, and East Coast, and you're hearing this broadcast not by chance, but God said you need to be equipped with the Holy Ghost. So lay your hands. And so right now, let the fire of God fall upon you right now. Let the heaven that's open over this place right now hit you like a firebrand. Hit you. Fire. I say breathe on that little fire. And let it be a volcano of eruption. That you said no fear of man. No fear of rejection. The boldness of the Holy Ghost. And I'm going forth to accomplish the purpose where God sent me when I come out of my mother's womb. And the word of the Lord is in my heart. Like fire, shut up in my bones. So, Lord, we release it right now. You're speaking in tongues for these people right now. Let it come up out of your belly. Out of your belly are flows, rivers, rivers of fire, rivers of healing, rivers of deliverance. God is activating and commissioning you all over the nation right now. He's sending his word to get you ready, to get you ready for that dream that you had in your heart. God said, the dream is here. The dream is now. He said, rise up and walk. Rise up and be healed. And be baptized. The harvest is coming and judgment's coming, but deliverance is coming on the other side. So, Lord, we release that for our brothers and sisters all over the world and even right now, God. Uh, right now, God. Right now, God. Thank you, Lord. I praise you, Lord, God. Fire is reaching the nation right now. Fires are burning all over the United States, God. Fires burning all over the nation in Dearborn and Detroit, God. It is us. We are the fire, God. And we thank you, Lord, that fires increasing in Dearborn, Detroit, Taylor, Ann Arbor, Flint, Allen Park, and all over, Lord God. We thank you for your fire, Lord, in the name of Jesus. We can't do it apart from you, God. And we thank you right now. We thank you right now, God. Thank you, Lord. Woo, glory. We got it. The Holy Ghost is moving right here under the tent right now. In the Holy Ghost right now. In the Holy Ghost, the tent is moving. God is in this tent right now for the Holy Ghost. Lord is equipping us is to go out in the streets. He's equipping us. He's cloaking us. He's cloaking us with humility and, 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 and doing us with power. He's been doing us with power. He's healing. He's getting our hands ready. He's getting our mouths ready. And he's getting our love ready. The love tank. God, we're pouring out love. And we're pouring out love, Jesus. Pouring out your love, God. We remember where we were. We remember the brokenness, the pain, the torment, and the shame. We remember where you found us, Lord God, and we thank you we'll never get over it. I'm a woman that's never got over that first day I laid eyes on Jesus, not because I wanted him, but he wanted me first. And I thank God he never gave up on me. He never forgot me, and I was stubborn. I was hard-headed, but now I know why. It was all now to come against the enemy and be stubborn for God, against unrighteousness, to bring reformation, revolution, and righteous indignation towards sin 
and toward sickness and disease. I was healed of lupus, fibromyalgia, chronic fatigue, demons casted out of me, emotional healing. I've been through the fire, but now I become fire. And I'm hallelujah and thanking Jesus for what he's done. Let's give him praise. Give him praise. Hallelujah. I'm, uh, I'm in a trance right now. I'm like a, kind of getting drunk right now. How many know you should be drunk in this time ahead just to, to go through? Right. But we're just, um, we're going to pause from our sponsors and we're going to interview. Uh, we're we're going to interview some people here. We've got about a half hour left, and we're excited. So um, I want to just thank my sponsor, uh, Mo from Malik Alkabobs over in Taylor, Michigan, and over in um, uh, Hamtramck. I thank him for sponsoring this broadcast. He's been sponsoring this broadcast for three years. And I thank God for Mo because he has healthy food, healthy juices. They do catering. Um, wedding showers, bridal showers, and all types of engagements and catering, and they'll deliver, amen, right to your home and doorstep. So I thank God for Mo. So we're, we're going to now go in the second half of the broadcast, and we're going to meet some people here at Dearborn First uh, Assembly. How many are excited for Jesus? I'm all yeah, electrified. Yeah. I'm plugged in. I'm plugged in. I'm plugged in. I'm excited about what God's doing. So we're going to interview a few people here, and I want to just ask a couple questions. And also, Pastor Brett, I actually want to get him on, on the line right now. Pastor Brett Abdullah from First Assembly. God, let's honor the man of God. <laughs> we thank God for him. Now, another man that's been in the trenches 20 years, he's been like a David in, in, with the Lord. And, and uh, God has brought him out for such a time as this. He's been walking the streets of Dearborn and praying and, and contending. I believe he's a voice for Dearborn. I had a dream, actually. He was standing in the center of Dearborn and declaring and decreeing. And uh, I know that he's a humble man, and that he just loves people. How many know that there's shepherds being risen up like David, that are man after God's own heart? Amen? Amen. And that they love people. Amen? And he loves people. And um, I want to just interview him now that I've embarrassed him and breaking on him and everything else. But he's, he's, the Lord spoke to me years ago that I was going to hook up with a man named Brett Abdullah when I was in Dearborn at Karen and Jim Fox Missionary Home. They said, you need to hook up with Brett Abdullah. Well, it was about eight years later, I was here at Dearborn Heights, and guess who walked in the door? Red Abdullah. And so I knew the Lord had got an assignment for us in, in Dearborn to bring in the nation. His lovely wife, Holly Abdullah, she is a woman of God. She loves missions. She's been all over the nation uh, to, you know, in the Bronx, and she's had training for reigning uh, in evangelism. So she is a great administrator, and we just want to honor her. She's busy around here somewhere. Let's give God uh, and Holly a hand. Hallelujah for what he's doing in Holly's life. And I just want to give uh, Pastor Brett part of what's going on here, what he sees, and what's the future holds for, uh, for the church and uh, First Assembly. So God bless you, Pastor. Greetings in the name of Jesus Christ. The one thing that I do have for the church is this, is that God is no longer working through individuals. He's working through the body. There's no longer going to be any big stars. It's going to be a bunch of stars. The Lord is working through a team. There's no big eyes or little in little U's. There's only going to be a bunch of big eyes. Amen? Amen. So I'm going to turn you back to, to Jill. She's a great woman of God, and we just enjoy having her here. Amen? Amen. 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 Short and sweet and pass the meat. <laughs> I'm the one who's wrong with it, I guess. <laughs> he's actually getting to work because he's, he's getting ready. My kids are going to be coming. I'm excited that family ministry, I declare family ministry all over the nation of children and husbands and wives gathering together for the kingdom of God. My children will be here worshiping uh, the Lord tonight, bringing us into the presence and just creating an atmosphere of the throne of God. Amen? Amen. And just to let it go forth as a sound that's a sound that goes through the whole city streets. So I'm excited. Also, we're going to have a prayer booth. Now, some of you might not understand this, but um, dream interpretation. How many know that God is uh, bringing dreams to his people, and even people who are not saved? How many know you can lead someone to the Lord, an unsaved person, just through a dream interpretation? Amen? Amen. And we've seen that happen. So we're believing for salvation that's going to come even through our prayer booth today as people walk by and as we go out um, just from our tent. And we're going to um, interpret dreams today, and we are going to pray for miracles. Amen. And I want to have Jerry come up. I want to just interview Jerry for a minute. Jerry's a man of God. He's uh, let's give Jerry a round of applause. We know it's all about glory. 
He knows he's nothing. I'm nothing without the Lord. But God is making us something. Amen. As you see, me and Jerry, God has made us a team in deliverance and healing here. We've seen uh, demons coming out of people, emotional healing. We see people transformed and transfigured by the power of God. He's been through deliverance himself. And he's, he's coming out today. Um, he has a son that has been, uh, you know, struggling for some years. And, but God's grace has been upon him and his wife. And he's learned so much of the Lord and through his son, through what they've gone through. Yep. But, Jerry, if, if there's something you'd say what the Lord is doing right now, um, I just want you to release that over the nations right now, what you feel God is doing in, 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 this, in this environment here. Yeah, I just want to uh, thank you, Lord. Father, right now I just pray in the name of Jesus that those who are hearing your voice right now, that those that know they need to step up to the plate, Father, those who are in the army, Father, have been called been called to your army, Father. I pray right now that, Father, they would rise up, they would join that army, Father, and they would go out and share their faith. Father, they would release your heart, release your spirit, release your, your, your love, your grace, your mercy, your peace, Father, to the world, to the people of the world. That, Father, in the name of Jesus, there would be a mighty outpouring of your spirit. And I just feel in the sense the Lord is saying that even with this campaign, even with the, there's an insertion point, there's places for people to insert themselves and change their atmospheres and change the very uh, region that they live in. Right now, Father, I just pray for a release of that power, a release yes, of Lord. those things to change. We declare it, Father, for that change to take place, even now in the hearing of this thing. Those are all those who are skeptical out there, but right now, this is your day. This is your hour. This is your time. And if you will rise up and say, Lord, I receive your power. I receive and accept it, Lord. I accept what you have for me in my assignment on this earth, and I will fulfill it, Lord. I will walk in it. You will see that region change, that atmosphere change, and for a Eventually, you're going to see your whole entire country change, and then the world, says the Lord. Now move, move, says the Lord. Do not delay, do not delay, because time is short, yes, says Lord. the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Glory, Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. we got a team here. We're going to go out with shofars, and we're going to go out with flags. How many know the kingdom of God is righteousness, joy, and peace in the Holy Ghost? But, Lord, I thank you that, see, I just saw fire come out of Jerry's mouth. So he's starting some fires up in here. We're starting some fires in the atmosphere. How many know the prophets of God speak for ships and atmospheres? How many know that the enemy has to get out of the way? Amen? Amen. So I'm just excited that things are getting moving so we can get grooving and we can get dancing on the streets today. Amen. Hallelujah. How many know? Hallelujah. So, um, also, Sherry, I want you to have come up, and I want to just share your testimony, what God has done for you. Someone needs some hope out there. They need freedom, emotional healing, and you come a far away. So just briefly, just giving some hope to somebody of what you've been overcoming and what you've been experiencing in your own life and your journey. I'm speaking to a young woman out there, and you've been abused and raped and molested, and, and uh, nobody understands you, even your closest family members don't. Uh, you're connected to a church, but, but uh, the pastor and his wife, they don't understand you either. They, uh, they don't know what to do with you. Um, and you feel like, you know, you just, you just want to take a gun and shoot yourself in the head. And you're tired right now. And I just see pills on, in your hand. And I see a, 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 a shotgun next to you. And you're in a dark place. I'm ask, I ask of you in Jesus' name to let her out now, Lord. I am, I am the environment of what uh, God has done. I was you at one time. My name is Sherry, and God brought me out of suicide. Uh, I wanted to slit my throat. He brought me out of drugs and alcohol and depression. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He brought me out of uh, a bipolar and ADD, ADHD, hypertension. Nobody understands me. Even now, some, some of my sisters and my brothers in Christ, they still don't understand me. But that's okay because I'm loving them. And I'm honoring them. And, and the more that God will heal, heal you, woman of God, you are, gonna, you, are, you are being set free now because you're listening to my voice. It's not the voice. It's the anointing that's permeating through me to you. You shall live and you shall not die. Hallelujah. And I declare Hallelujah. glory and life over your life. And you're going to throw away the pills. And you're going to take the gun, and you're going to take the bullets out of the gun, and you're going to say, I'm going to live. And, and God's going to bring women around you that are going to understand you and give you grace and give you hope. And uh, uh, the assemblies of God are here, 
if you need us, we are women of uh, God, of mercy and grace. We love on one another. We accept one another. Nobody's perfect. We all have our tantrums. We all have, uh, I have my tantrums. I have, sometimes I'm hard to deal with, but they keep loving me because God is love. God is no rejection, no, no respect of person. That woman of God, you are beautiful, you're intelligent, you're vivacious, you're anointed, you're appointed. Rise up, woman of God, and very soon I shall see you face to face. In the name of Jesus, Hallelujah. amen. Woo. Give a praise. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yes, we're excited. Um, um, I actually wanted to, uh, let's give God praise. Someone just got healed and delivered from suicide and depression right now. Someone just brought life to their life, giving them hope. Again, Women Empowering Women National Network, we're meeting on the 30th uh, prayer summit. But we've been seeing monthly meetings where people are getting delivered, women are getting delivered, and demons are coming out in the glory. We don't even lay hands on anybody, and they're just coming out. Um, but thank God we still lay hands on. When God says go, then we say, okay, got it. You know, when we are, you're done, we, we can, we'll, we'll help you, right, when God tells us. But we've seen just lots of testimonies of just women transform from rape and molestation in a moment where all of it, people are getting healed and delivered. So God is doing a new thing. He's opened the heavens up wide to accelerate his healing so that people can know him and, and have intimacy with him. And that perfect love cast out fear. You're going to have to live in the love of God and the fear of God if we're going to be able to have the impact in this world today. But I want to just introduce to, uh, to you Diana. Diana, I want to have her speaking on love. She is, we all have ministries of love, but she's just able to express love um, as she communicates. What is it that God is uh, saying to the body of Christ about love? And I want her to just release that over the airways. There's so much hatred and division. And the enemy it toils with us. And he works out of our soul wounds and our emotional soul wounds and brings division to the body of Christ. And God wants to bring unity to the bride, unity one to one another, and unity in a whole region. And that means there must be healing and deliverance. It's going to have to happen. So what do you want to talk about, love? Well, I, I, I just thank you. I, I, I found uh, love here um, in the Women Empowering Women and in, in First Assembly, the members there. And the greatest love is the love of God. Um, and so when we are afraid, when we are, when we are feeling like we we're, we're, want to run the other way, um, I'm just crying out to you guys, please, don't run away, run to God, not from God. Because the love and the forgiveness and, the, and the, just the beauty that you're going to experience is it's going to change your life. It, it love it will cast out fear. Love will heal your, your wounds. Um, just, just the love that I've, I felt from, like, from Jill and times that I wanted to just worry about performance all the time and be just under a burden of, of a spirit of religion and, you know, feeling like I had to prove something. We don't have to prove anything. God loves and accepts us and forgives us. And Christ died for us so that we can be free. So I just, I just ask you out there on the radio waves, please accept. Receive his forgiveness. Receive the love. Receive the passion of Christ, Jesus, who died for you. You're out there. Maybe you were suffering from child abuse. Maybe you're still being abused. Um, break, we can break the cycle of abuse and dysfunctional families and dysfunctional love and you can get a new, fresh understanding of what real love is. And to feel that for your own self, the love of God will, will transform your life. It will make it so that you are a new person and that you can actually begin to, to love yourself and to love one another. And that's what we're called to do, to love one another. And uh, I just, I'm so blessed that I've gotten around people that, that – have helped me learn how to love and to forgive and to, it's just such a blessing. And I just, I just love you. I love you. I love you. I know it all. It, it, it shows, it, it shows in the eyes and it just shows in mm. actions. And, you know, when you can have um, Jesus with flesh on with people that are just so amazing and, and so loving and patient with you, it, it just, it just changes, it, and it lets you overcome the fear and overcome the hurt and let go of the wounds that from your childhood, um, from, from trauma, from different things that have happened in your life, and you can be set free. And it's mm. all just for the asking. There's, there's nothing you have to do. No, you don't have to prove anything. 
you don't have to, I don't know. I, mean, it's I want you to pray. pray. I want you to go ahead and pray to those women that feel like you have, but you've received the healing now, so go ahead. Um, this is just for everybody, women, yeah. men, children. Um, I have a heart for the lost, and and I just, I just uh, Heavenly Father, sweet Jesus, and Holy Spirit, I lift up everyone that's in earshot of this phone call right now, and I ask you to come into their heart. Have them, have them embrace you and you embrace them and so that they can have a new life and experience the love, the love of Jesus who died for us, who suffered for us, who's going to come again and, and, and has prepared a place for us in heaven. That is, that is love when one lays down their life for a friend and you can experience that kind of love. It's just all you have to do is say, Jesus, I know you died for me. I am a sinner. I I am not worthy to receive you, but you don't. You did it anyway. You did it anyway. You died for me, so that I can be with you and with the Father. So come, Holy Spirit, right now, into the hearts of everyone who's listening right now, and and open their eyes, open their hearts, open their ears, open their minds to a new way, to new understanding, and have them just say to you. Lord, I, 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 ask, I ask for your forgiveness. Please forgive me. I'm a sinner. Please forgive me. Um, I receive you. I, I love you. And, and just that simple prayer that I believe in Jesus, he died for me, he rose again, and he's at the right hand of the Father interceding for you right now for you to come to him. You never have to be alone. You can be healed and delivered and set free. So, if you've prayed that prayer in your heart and your and your lip with proclaim with your lips and confess with with your mouth, um, then you are born again and you are now a child of God. So, amen. Woo, glory to God. Yeah. Wow, the greatest yeah. miracle of all time, the salvation of the Lord, amen. And uh, we've got about 10 minutes left of the broadcast, and we're just excited here. I'm hoping you're enjoying this live broadcast from Dear Bright First Assembly of God with some fire walkers and those that love the Lord, and we've got people coming under the tent right now. So we're excited about what God is doing and bringing salvation. And I want to talk to Matt right now just for a minute. Matt has been a leader at our church. He um, actually has some disabilities, but God said, no, he's got the ability of God. Amen? He's, and so just one minute, I want you just to just to say, uh, say something about uh, Jesus, what Jesus did for you. Jesus um, came to my heart, and uh, I never had a church, but this first church, and I, and I never, and I... Uh, yes, you belong? I belong to this um, first, uh, first assembly. assembly of God. Yes, amen. And I thank for Jill for this, too. Amen, amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. I want to uh, talk to Shara, and then we're going to go in about 10 minutes. We're going to be communicating what God is doing and what we're going to do down the, the crosswalk. But Shara, I want to have her share a little testimony of how God brought her through some things. And you got about a, couple, a few minutes. Go ahead, sister. I love you. Oh, I just think... Thank the Lord. He has done, has done so much in my life. What did God do right now under right this now, tent? I know you were down on the ground when we were praying. He attacked my addiction, Lord, and just said, no more, no more. And I could just feel it going through my body. Whoa. You know, alcohol has got the, it's gone. And, uh, Lord, I just thank you for that right now, Lord. Thank you for anything God. that was attacking those demons. Lord, I just thank you for removing that from my life. I just surrender right now, and I surrendered. I've been surrendering every day. And Lord, I just I just want to thank you because there's no one else that could do it but you, Lord. Amen. Lord, I just believe and I receive right now. I got the victory, Lord, and I thank Hallelujah. you, Jesus. You know, I, I tell everybody about you, but I feel like I was being a false, false witness by not not obe- being obedient 100. percent I got it's either it's it's I either got to be all in or all out. No, I'm all in, Lord. I'm all in. I'm all in for you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Now I can now I can witness from my the bottom of my heart to, from the soles of my feet to the top, top of my head, Lord, and, and know that you're just flowing right through me, 100. percent And I can just let your light shine in me, let your light shine in me, Lord, because all, all I want to do is bring souls to you, Lord. That's what you, that's what my my purpose is here, Lord, is to bring more souls to you, Jesus. And I just I just couldn't be more thankful, Lord, for your mercy and your grace, Lord, and 
And Lord, I just repent for everything, and I know that you've accepted me, you've forgiven me, and I, I know this, Lord. I, I know that because I believe in you, and and I know you believe in me, Jesus. I, I just love you, Lord, and I thank you right now in Jesus' name. Amen. She just got from a deliverance from addiction all over this broadcast, and that anointing continues to flow. She's testifying right under this tent. She got delivered from the alcohol addiction. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Give God praise. A word of knowledge came forth. It was for her. She was on her knees, and I heard a little spitting up. The devil has gone out. We spit up the devil, don't we? We spit him up. Amen. Hallelujah. Woo. Hallelujah. Give him praise. Woo. Is this the man we witnessed to? But I'm excited. And he just walked. The Lord's delivering someone. There's a man just came up, and he, I knew he felt the presence of God. He's being drawn. He stopped right in front of this church on his bike, and then he just walked off with his bike, and he just knows that the only hope is Jesus. Amen. And so we're going to believe that he's going to be getting delivered. They're praying over him right now. They're delivering. They're, the anointing of God is delivering him up right now. So, Lord, we just thank you so much. We've got a little bit of time left. Anybody feel anything in their heart right now that they, they uh, we want to speak right now? You know, I'm going to see a Pastor Brett or Pastor Joe. Pastor Joe. Uh, we've been interviewing here live from First Assembly of God at the Telegraph Cruise. The power and fire of God has been hitting us. People are getting delivered under the tent. People are coming. And we've been interviewing Pastor Brett and all of us that have gone through deliverance and healing and what God is doing in this hour in this church. And I'm just so glad we say the best for last. We've got about 10 minutes left. <laughs> we want to hear from Apostle Joe. And I, you know what? I believe this man of God, he's been all over Dearborn and Detroit area. And uh, he is doing tent meetings. But we're believing for the crosswalk to see people saved and healed today. So what, what's on your heart when you're seeing this cruise, you're seeing people? And um, what, just all the things that are going on in this area, what would you what would you say to the people all over the nation right now? I think uh, God's doing a work in Detroit. The Detroit area is, uh, right now, there's an open window over this area for God to move. People are coming from all different parts of the nation. I just read a blog from a young girl, 16 years old, came to Detroit as part of a huge outreach of the Lutheran Church. She was completely floored by what's going on in this city. She fell in love with it within five minutes. And I just believe it's the prayer of the saints. I believe it's the worship. We're setting up tents in the city, and we just worship for days and for hours. We're praying. We're interceding. Teams are going out on the streets, going door to door. Uh, we got a tent up today here in Dearborn Heights, Telegraph, one of the one of the main routes in all of the Detroit metro area, and the classics are driving by. But we're we got the tent up. We're praying for people, and we're going to have worship later on. And just the atmosphere over the city is shifting. It's changing, and and God's given me the word shifting, loving, and awakening. Hallelujah. Uh, we're shifting the atmosphere through prayer, through worship. We're loving on people, praying for them, laying hands on them. Uh, people are so open. You just go up to them and, and you ask for prayer. Right away, there's such a reverence. And even in the most dangerous neighborhood in all of America is in Detroit. Uh, I don't believe it is anymore. In the last uh, few months, I believe such a shift has taken place. But you come up to people, you ask if they want prayer, and they're so open and they're so receiving and so welcoming. No hardness, just a open heart. And I, I believe a shifting has taken place and we're loving and uh, that's going to lead to awakening. That's going to impact the whole nation. Mm. Hallelujah. And we've got about, um, actually if you can uh, about close us in prayer and then I'm going to close up the broadcast. I'm just praying over, I know your hearts for pastors in Detroit and Dearborn and, and to see a revival of pastors being awakened and refreshed. And we were playing at J-Hop, really the power of God did. It's Justice House of Prayer on Michigan Avenue. And we are praying into Dearborn and Detroit just for Detroit to come together in unity and, and see pastors come together so we can accomplish something great together. So we pray into that. Thank you, Lord. Amen. So, Lord, I pray for, first of all, for all those outside the Detroit metro area that may be listening, that they will sow their prayers into this region, that they'll pray, that they'll come as missionaries, as God has really opened a door. And, and I pray that the blessings, God, that uh, we're seeing here spreads to them and and we pray for each listener, whatever needs they have, that right now, in the name of Jesus, we pray for healing. We, I, I sense right now somebody's got an issue with eyes, an eye problem, like in the back of the, the eye eyeball. I don't know what that's called, but just believe God right now. Just touch your eye and believe God to heal you. Um, 
and those in the Detroit region, the pastors, Father, I pray that you encourage and strengthen them and let them see what you're doing and let that inspire them. We thank you that no weapon formed against us shall prosper. We don't care if there's a, uh, a Baphomet statue put up here because greater is he who is in us than he who is in the world. Hallelujah. That's yes, just Lord. a distraction right now. We mm, just thank you, God, Lord. that you're moving so powerfully that the enemy's trying to do things. Mm -hmm. But anybody who's discouraged, I just pray, strengthen them, encourage them. In Jesus' name, Lord, let them see the harvest like never before. Resources, release resources, Lord, for every pastor, every ministry yes. in this Detroit metro region. Mm -hmm. Let it be a turnaround that the whole nation sees. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Amen. And, and I want to thank um, God for Pastor Joe and the tent meetings and the vision that he has in Detroit. He's going to the most dangerous neighborhoods in Detroit. And he's uh, being obedient and faithful to the Lord. And we have people and ministers and pastors and churches coming together to see an increase of healing and freedom, but mostly just uh, human, you know, just going out there with food and getting out in the community and reaching them where they're at. So I want to thank God for you, Pastor. We appreciate you. Amen. And so um, also I want to pray for uh, Jerusalem, the peace of Israel. We know that if we're going to have the blessing of Zion and we're going to have an open heaven, we realize that Israel is on God's heart. And we want to pray for Israel. We believe that Israel is connected to Detroit and the state of Michigan, and we must honor Israel. And those that are coming against Israel and those that are not honoring Israel will be cursed. And we want to be a blessed remnant in the state of Michigan, that we bless Israel, we pray for Israel, we give to Israel, we seed into Israel. It's so important that God says, as we bless Israel, also be blessed. If we curse Israel, be cursed. So watch our words, saints against the Jews and against Israel, because then you're, you're speaking against God himself. And so I just release right now the blessings. Sherry and I are here in agreement. We release the blessings over Israel, Lord, over every heart, every home, every life. We pray for salvation. Their eyes would be open, God. We pray for Yeshua to go in each and every room, each and every heart, and walk the streets of Jerusalem again, Lord, and reveal yourself as Yeshua. You're one, the one the suffering Messiah, Lord, that you already came and you already rose from the dead, sitting at the right hand of the Father. And so, Lord, in the name of Jesus, declare and decree that, Father. We just thank you for this broadcast, Lord. We thank you, Lord, that you're blessing everyone. And may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you. May the Lord be gracious unto you and give you his shalom peace. Set us free.